friends, I'm Savannah. Welcome to Church at Home. I am so excited you're here. We are in a series called Step Up, where we are learning all about what it means to step up in faith. Faith is knowing something is real, even if we can't see it. Our big idea tells us more about a way we can have faith. It says, I can have faith in God's plans. Now repeat that after me. Ready? I can have faith in God's plans. Yes, great job. Even though we can't always see what God is doing or we don't know his plans, we can still have faith and believe he has a good plan for us. I know a song that reminds us we can follow God and have faith in him. It's called Side by Side. Let's sing together now. We're gonna sing this song called Side by Side. It's about how we can follow Jesus and he will be with us every step of the way. So let's sing this out together. Step by step, day by day, you will lead me all the way. Every time. Every time I call your name, Jesus. Let's Jesus. sing out, you're right there. I'll follow you. I'll follow you all of the way. All right, friends, so let's go left. Here we go. So if you go left. Let's sing out. Every day I have a friend. Every day I have a friend. So the journey never ends. On your name. On your name I can depend. Jesus. I'll follow you. I'll follow you all of the way. My friends, here we go. Let's go left. So if you go left, you go left. If you go right, you go right. Let's go in a circle. Go low, here we go. And high. You go high. Go high. Go circle. And we will follow. Wherever. Great job singing and dancing. That song reminds us that we can follow God. That means we can have faith and follow His plans, even if they don't make sense or don't know what God is doing because God will be with us every step of the way. I know a story about someone who had faith and followed God's plans. It's in this book right here. Do you know what this book is? That's right, the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that teaches us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. And today, we get to hear a special story all about someone named Noah. Noah had faith in God's plans. Pay attention and see if you can find out what God asked Noah to do. Put on your thinking caps and your listening ears and watch this. Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. 
But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colored, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water! Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl so Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya! Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. God told Noah to build a big boat, and wow, it was so big! Big enough to fit two of every kind of animal. But Noah didn't understand why God wanted him to build a boat. He didn't see any rain or understand what a flood was, but he still had faith. So he obeyed and built the boat, and God saved Noah from the flood. We can have faith too. We can know and believe God has a good plan, and when we obey Him, we are showing Him we have faith in His plans. Let's read a special verse from the Bible right now that will teach us all about God's plans. But uh oh, wait. It is all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's start popping. Okay, everybody. It's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! All right, all right! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We got the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Okay, ready, let's go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here! Pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air! Pop them everywhere! Yay! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look what you did! We can see our Bible verse now. Let's read it together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. 
Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. That Bible verse reminds us that God will show us which path to take. A path is the plan God wants us to follow, like the things to do, the things to say, and how to be a good friend and love others. We can have faith that God has the best plan for us. Let's sing the Bible verse song together right now to remind us that we can have faith when we give big. Let's sing Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 together. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will. Get ready to dance. Whoa, oh. Good job, friends. I love singing and dancing to that Bible verse with you. We can trust God and know that He will show us which path to take. That means He has a good plan for us. Part of His plan is for us to love Him and love others. That's something we can all do. Let's learn some more about the word faith with our scuppet friend Winston. He is at the carnival waiting to see who will step up and play some amazing carnival games. So put your listening ears on and buckle on those thinking caps because we are heading to the carnival. Welcome everyone to the Scuppeton Carnival! I'm here to see who will step up and do some amazing carnival games! As you can see, we have incredible prizes, delicious treats, oh, and of course, your friend Winston is here! Ha <laughs> ha! That's me! So, who wants to step up today? I'll step up! I'll do it! Oh! Hey Joey! You got it! What do you have planned for us today? I have big plans for today! You're gonna play ski ball! Ski ball? I love ski ball! Haha! <laughs> but I added a twist to it! I want you to follow my plan for the best ski ball game ever! And if you do, you're gonna win a prize! Okay! I'm up for it! I love prizes! And you know what? That reminds me of our big idea today! Oh! What is it? Our big idea is I can have faith in God's plans! God has plans for us? How do you know that? Well, I know because God says so in the Bible. There's a Bible story about a man named Noah who followed God's plan even though he didn't know how it would work out. He built a boat and filled it with animals because God told him to. And God saved Noah, his family, and the animals from a big flood. Noah had faith in God's plan, and we can have faith too. Faith means we can know something is real even if we don't see it, right? Right! So, how can I have faith in God's plan? Will he tell me to build a boat too? Well, maybe, Winston, but my guess is that God has other plans for you. You know, God's plan for everyone is to love him and other people. He wants us to belong to his family and be in heaven with him one day. 
I like that plan. Me too. So friends, remember that you can have faith that God has a good plan for you. And even if we don't know his plan, we can know that he'll always love us and be with us. He has a great plan for each and every one of you. Woohoo! Now, Joey, it's time for you to follow my plan. Okay, I'm ready. Let's, Let's do go. this. Here we are. It's time for you to do my awesome plan. Nice. Ski ball is a pretty easy game. You have to roll the ball down the track and land it in the hole. Some holes are worth more points than others, but to make it more fun, each time you roll, you have to pretend to be a different animal. Ha <laughs> ha! Kind of like the animals on Noah's boat. Oh, yeah! Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll give it a try. So, you're going to have two chances to see how many points you can get. And that will be five tickets, please. Okay. Five tickets. I think I can do it. Five tickets. Okay, thank you. There you go. I'm ready to follow your plan, Winston. All right, and roll like a chicken. Like a chicken? Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh! Whee! 50! Yeah, All right. Points. Okay, now you have to roll like a sloth. Like a sloth. So slow. So, slow. Like a sloth. Whoa, like a <laughs> so funny! Whoa! It worked! I got 25 on that one! Good job, Joey! So, you got 75 points! That's Whoa. a lot of points! You can get any prize from that section! From this section? Yes! Whoa. Look what's on this section! Whoa. A sloth! Whoa. Wow! I gotta pick the sloth! No! <laughs> Good job following my plan and making ski ball extra fun! Of course! That was so much fun! And you know what? I actually think it helped me get in the zone! And friends, it was fun doing Winston's ski ball plan! But remember, God has an even greater plan for you! So, let's say our big idea together! I, I can, can have, have faith in God's, God's plans! plans. Yes! God's plan is the best! Thanks for coming out to Scumpton Carnival today! Come back next time for more games! Fun and prizes! See Bye. you then! Bye. 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 Whoa! That was awesome! Winston had some big and funny plans for Joey to play skee ball today, and that reminded them of how God has plans too. You can have faith that God has a good plan for you. Even if you don't know God's plan, you can know that He will never leave you, He will always love you, He will always comfort you, and that He will always have a good plan for you. Let's say a prayer right now to talk to God. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you that you have good plans for me. I want to have faith in your plans. Help me try my best to follow you and your plans every day. I love you so much. Amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I have had so much fun with you learning about what it means to have faith in God's plans. Don't forget to have a grown-up help you go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about what it means to have faith. And we would love to see you at Saddleback Kids too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.